My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Man, have we been lining up the special cars for these videos lately and today is no exception. We have a 1953 Packard Caribbean convertible, one of 750 made. These were hand-built cars uh, by Packard. Uh, I'll tell you all about their unique features. Just look how massive it is. I'm standing next to it and it's just crazy. Uh, big, massive, uh, very elegant car. Uh, competed against the Eldorado and the Buick Skylark, one of the most expensive cars of that era. Go to volocars.com as you're going to read all the specs, look at all the pictures. You'll find the price tags on all of the cars we have for sale, along with monthly finance options as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you can be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, the top is down. Let's go for a spin. The okay, underneath is pretty basic. It's just really clean original. The floor pans, the braces, the ribs in the floors, all of it just looks nice, clean, original, dry metal. The chassis looks like it's just smooth, clean metal. None of it's flaky or pitted, or, um, but it's not been off frame restored, but just really nice and clean. Uh, it has a nice single exhaust system, looks pretty recent. Uh, the correct muffler, correct system. Uh, shocks do look like they've been replaced uh, recently. Um, they call it the Ultramatic transmission. It's an automatic. That was an option. Uh, these actually were three-speed manuals. Uh, the transmission and the bottom of the motor are clean. They're not caked with grease. Uh, they're nice and clean. Uh, it's drum brakes all around. It has uh, e-brake cables are hooked up. Uh, everything looks proper. And I forgot to mention, this is one of the 25 cars we just purchased from uh, the Claude O estate. Uh, he had a full-time mechanic maintaining his collection of cars. His wife told me that he wanted to be able to drive any car at any time. So his cars were in good working order. Uh, he just wanted to be able to hop in it and go for a drive. Uh, so the Packard, whether you say Caribbean or Caribbean, uh, this was the first year. Uh, Packard was a struggling company. They really wanted uh, to compete with the Cadillac and really wanted to make that impact, that splash. And this was the car to do it with. Uh, the cars were sent to an independent company called Mitchell Bentley, and the cars were handcrafted at that company. One of the big differences is the scooped hood. Uh, the scoop is leaded to the hood. Uh, the big wide radius wheel well op openings front and back with this big uh, chrome molding running all the way uh, down and around. At that time everyone was going to fender skirts so this was pretty unique. They had this big wide opening. While we're here uh, the wire wheels is part of the package too and this one's got a nice big set of white wall tires. It has the chrome fins. They all came with a Continental kit. This one has the matching wire wheel. Um, has some extra stainless trim here. The quarter panels are uh, hand sculpted is what I just read. Uh, so these are all uniquely uh, made. This one has the trim around the fuel door as well. So as far as the condition of the body, it's very straight. All smooth, this all fits real nice. It's all real nice, straight, smooth. I don't see any damage. I don't see any rust or bubbles. This is the original color. They only offered a handful of colors. <clears throat> and I would have to say this is one of the more rare colors. I think the maroon is the one you see most often. This is a stunning color. I started joking or laughing about it because I had at least five, six different people working here from the gentleman that picked it up to uh, one of the ladies in the office. Uh, to uh, our maintenance uh, guy, all pointed out the color. Oh man, that green Packard's beautiful. So really attractive color. I'm trying to remember the name of it as we're talking here. <clears throat> um, 
So anyway, back to the body. It's in really nice shape. There's a little crack right here on both sides, a little hairline crack, nothing significant. This all looks really good. There are a couple little bubbles at the bottom corner of this door, just a few little small ones, like smaller in my pinky nail. This is all real good, all real nice. Here's a nick that's been touched up. Yeah, the paint is polished smooth and glossy. The metal flake is laid out evenly. It's not cloudy, it's not mismatched, and it's polished very smooth and glossy. I pointed out a couple little flaws. I'm sure there's probably a couple little more uh, but overall, standing next to the car, the paint job's fantastic. <clears throat> the chrome, this center section is tarnished right here. And on top of the uh, bumper here, it's got a little tarnish, but it's all straight. This is all, well, a little bit tarnished, but not pitted. This piece is brilliant. This has probably been redone up on top here. This is brilliant chrome. It's beautiful. This is a little tarnished. This emblem is uh, set in there, flush. All this stainless trim is straight, it's not beat up. The mirror looks like new. Uh, windshield's probably original, it has some little surface, little nicks. Antenna looks original, the wheels are sparkling. And up front here, all the chrome is sparkling. There's a worn spot right here, it has little mild abrasions on the chrome. Someone walks up to it, they're going to think it's gorgeous. When you're inspecting it or polishing it, you're going to see a little bit of age or, or wear on the chrome. So that's the gorgeous outside. Let's open it up, show you what the inside looks like. Okay, I already pre-opened this, but there's a button in the middle of the hubcap here. You push that in and that uh, releases the latch is connected to the trunk and then you use the key to open the trunk. Uh, this medallion's in great shape by the way too. So the whole trunk compartment is carpeted. Uh, there is, uh, carpet is a little bit ruined underneath where I have this sign laying here. Uh, this is a sign that comes with it. Looks like a previous owner is from Florida and it was at an invite only show. We're gonna include a service manual. Uh, it has a spare tire, obviously, never been used, so has the nubs on it. I think this matches the rest of the tires. There's a car cover. I had the car cover out. There's a jack behind there as well. So it's a complete trunk compartment. Convertible top, you can see in the pictures on our website, it's a white power top. It's in really nice shape. Door jams are painted nice. The weather strip has been replaced. And overall, the interior is in very good shape. The door panel, uh, nice, straight, it's bolstered nicely. You can see there's power window switches. It looks like they repainted the uh, dash at the same time as the outside of the car. It looks just as nice. Uh, all the chrome is original, but it's shiny and sparkly and, and nice, uh, nice shape. <clears throat> original steering wheel shows a little bit of age. The chrome center is real nice as the automatic shifter. A little bit of discoloring in the floor mats, or the carpet, I should say. Day, night mirror. The seats are upholstered nicely. It is a power seat. Real nice and back too. Overall, the interior is not brand new, but it's not beat up or abused in any way. Interior lights work. One thing that stands out in my mind about these Packards, the last one we had was probably five years ago, the hood weighs a ton. <laughs> and sure enough, that's what I was thinking. I opened this hood, holy cow. Uh, you have a little muscle to open this hood. It has the factory springs, which would be good enough on a normal Packard, but also they put the rod here. And you can see underneath where, this is how they would have done it originally. The hood was cut out 
and the, uh, the scoop was added to the uh, standard uh, hood. Now the engine. Uh, companies were starting to go to V8 motors at, around this time. Packard stuck with their uh, straight eight motor, been around since the 20s, uh, but it just was so efficient and smooth and produced a lot of torque. There's nothing wrong with the motor, but it is a 327 cubic inch, makes about 180 horsepower. Uh, it's a four barrel carburetor, got the whole air cleaner assembly, is all real nice. Everything in here looks very clean. All the metal surfaces are smooth and nice. Uh, this apparatus is part of the hydraulic pump for the top windows uh, and seat. Yeah, overall, just uh, you know, very tidy, very clean, proper, tidy. This was and still is an impressive car. Just its size is impressive. I didn't mention it also comes with power brakes. I believe that was an option. I hope I don't throw my back out closing this hood. It gets heavy right about here. There we go. Very, very cool car. Very few built. Not many around. Here's your chance to buy a really gorgeous example. I checked prices. I think ours is very fair. So go to volocars.com. Uh, you can talk with the salesman. I just gave you my impression. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can get this car delivered to your driveway. They can help you with financing at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're enjoying these videos and uh, click on the bell icon uh, so you can be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.